Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Kane, the President and CEO of the American Association of Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine, and I'd like to talk to you about osteopathic medical education and the Foundational Core Competencies Project. Let's talk first about why the Foundational Core Competency Project matters to the osteopathic community. This is about being at the table. The formation of the single accreditation system changed our learning environment. There are challenges, and we are dealing with them, but there are also benefits. It has provided an increased number of opportunities to work with our MD academic colleagues on matters that affect our students and theirs. In the past, projects like the foundational core competencies would have been undertaken without input from the DO community or at least not input from the start of the project and not necessarily as equals. If the MD community had undertaken this project without us, we would need to introduce and educate the nearly 11,000 ACGME program directors about our document, most likely reproducing the challenges of COMLEX acceptance. Instead, we have been involved as equals since its inception and have had the opportunity to influence and provide feedback at multiple points over the past two years. Let's talk a little bit about ACOM's commitment to our core principles. This is our opportunity statement. It was approved by the ACOM Board of Deans. We choose to build a world where everyone can receive care based upon osteopathic principles and practice by boldly leading the education community to make that possible. I believe deeply in the words that you see in this opportunity statement, and we work in this organization and across our community to support it. But more importantly, we're creating the future doctor of osteopathic medicine, one that needs to live in a world of artificial intelligence and genomic therapy while also staying true to who we are recognizing our core principles and practices. Let's talk now about the origins of the Foundational Core Competencies Project. The Foundational Core Competencies Project is an outcome of addressing challenges of the transition to residency, something that was studied by a group called the Undergraduate Medical Education Graduate Medical Education Review Committee during the years 2020 and 2021. This group was commissioned by the Coalition for Physician Accountability to identify challenges in the transition between medical school and residency that are negatively impacting the UME-GME transition. Ultimately, 34 recommendations came from their work. Recommendation number nine is related to the Foundational Core Competencies Project. UME and GME educators, along with representatives of the full education continuum, should jointly define and implement a common framework of outcomes, competencies, to apply to learners across the UME-GME transition. This is the actual narrative, this is the description of that particular recommendation. Key words here, shared mental model of competence, shared outcomes language that can convey information on learner competence with the patient and public trust in mind. And perhaps most important to this conversation, for residency programs, defining outcomes will be useful for resident selection and learner handovers from UME, resident training, and resident preparation for practice. We also noted during the COVID-19 pandemic, other issues affecting the transition to residency. The pandemic raised awareness that we cannot be dependent upon high stakes assessments like COMLEX and USMLE alone as a means of filtering applications and selecting residents. We can do better. Information garnered through competency-based medical education assessments can help to advance a more holistic application and interview process during the transition to residency. Other details about the Foundational Core Competency Project include the fact that this is a joint effort involving ACOM, AAMC, and ACGME to create a common reporting mechanism 
about students graduating from DO and MD colleges to address preparation for the transition to residency. A website, engage.aamc.org, was created using the AAMC platform to provide information, including FAQs. One important FAQ asks, how will these foundational competencies be used by medical schools? If you look at the bolded response, the narrative associated with that FAQ, ultimately, the ways in which medical schools utilize these foundational competencies will be determined by the schools themselves. They are not designed to be a mandate. Additionally, this project represents two plus years of integrated work and crossover presentations between organizations with multiple touch points. For those who have attended Educating Leaders during 2023 and 2024, full one-hour presentations were given on this particular topic. That the same has also been done at Learn, Serve, Lead and the ACGME Annual Educational Conference, where hundreds of individuals were in attendance at workshops where this material was reviewed. We presented this to the Board of Deans on several different occasions. In the beginning, so that we could talk about the need for us to participate in this particular project and some of the possible outcomes that would be associated with it. The Society of Osteopathic Medical Educators and the National Academy of Osteopathic Medical Educators have both been involved and community surveys have been completed. There's a diverse steering committee with osteopathic representation, an advisory group where five of 25 members are associated with the osteopathic community, and a working group where five of 20 members are associated with the osteopathic community. And that representation is broad, coming from Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine, ACOM, AOA, and MBOME. Why competency-based medical education? Competency-based medical education is important because it ensures that medical professionals are not just knowledgeable, but also skilled and able to apply their knowledge in real world settings. Importantly, it focuses on outcomes, addresses skill proficiency, promotes adaptable learning, provides formative and summative feedback, and helps to better meet the health system needs of today. What about positioning the foundational core competency so people better understand what is really happening with this project? With regard to undergraduate medical education, what stays the same? COCA standard 6.4 remains in place. That standard specifically sets an expectation for colleges of osteopathic medicine to teach and assess around the seven osteopathic core competencies. For the National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners, the foundational fundamental osteopathic medical competency domains remain unchanged. And for ACOM, the osteopathic considerations for EPAs remain in place. Colleges of osteopathic medicine will continue to teach and assess the seven osteopathic competencies and will maintain expectations for graduates to develop a professional identity that values the principles and practices of osteopathic medicine. With regard to graduate medical education, what stays the same? both the ACGME core competency domains and the ACGME milestones. ACGME residency and fellowship programs will continue to teach and assess the six competencies through the milestones project. Programs with osteopathic recognition will continue to integrate the osteopathic milestones into the six competencies as we have done since 2015 at the beginning of the formation of the single accreditation system. What changes? The change is really represented by the transition to residency period. In this case, the foundational core competencies function as an interface or bridge between undergraduate medical education and graduate medical education, and in our system between seven competencies and six competencies. Osteopathic UME will continue to focus on preparing students to meet expectations for entering residency using the seven osteopathic core competencies that are required by COCA. GME program expectations based upon the six core competencies required by ACGME must be considered. So, 
the foundational core competencies create a shared minimum reporting platform for DO and MD schools and provide a mechanism to meaningfully translate our seven competency domains into the six domains recognized and used by nearly 11,000 ACGME residency and fellowship programs. To summarize the foundational core competencies, they provide a common competency reporting mechanism for DO and MD schools, both of which currently use varying methods to convey information to GME programs. This advantages DO students versus a separate osteopathic reporting process that would require program directors to understand another form or language while still integrating elements of competency that are important to osteopathic medicine. They integrate osteopathic competencies that are of value to the 250 plus GME programs with osteopathic recognition and or those seeking such competency within the 10,000 plus programs that have not sought to become osteopathically recognized. This advantages the osteopathic community by exposing all ACGME program directors to elements of osteopathic medicine and may have the long-term effect of raising curiosity about osteopathic competencies and osteopathic practice. Importantly, they do not affect the undergraduate curriculum, the COCA accreditation standards, or MBOME assessment standards. What is next? Well, this project is not over. There's still information to be considered, some of which you're providing at this time. As I've mentioned throughout this presentation, our ideal state is that osteopathic competencies or subcompetencies are integrated into the final document in a way that helps to transmit information about our students and their unique characteristics. Our founder had a vision of improving the present healthcare system and placing the same on a more rational and scientific basis. Competency-based medical education is about the future and it's about improving our present system. And we've been proud to be part of this project. So thank you for allowing me this opportunity to share a little bit about osteopathic medical education and the Foundational Core Competency Project. Please feel free to reach out with additional questions and remember that website that I mentioned earlier, engage.aamc.org. There are FAQ questions and additional information that you may find of value.